Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Oh, come on, Ivor. It could be fun. Well, you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. You're not an eater, are you? Don't be morbid, of course not. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend. Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaws. Off to cook and back at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. Okay? Jesse? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's head home. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Whew, what a huge relief. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs>